Nations Night Out at the Beverly Center in Los Angeles. We are going beneath the glitter and talking to Elle and Blair Fowler. Ellen Blair Fowler, great to see you. You too. Thank you. Is this your favorite night of the year? This is my favorite night of the year. It's like Christmas. It is. It's like fashion holiday. Anyone that loves fashion, this feels like a legitimate holiday to them. So give me the breakdown. If you guys are coming here to shop, there's already crowds like of your fans gathering around behind camera. But if you were to shop anonymously, where, where, what's the strategy? Where are you going first? Well, if you went online, pretty much anywhere before Fashion's Night Out, they have a breakdown of what stores have which sales. I would have hit up Bloomingdale's and then Steve Madden, Sephora. I mean, you could do my strategy, which is start at the parking lot and hit every single store. <laughs> That's what I like to do. So when you're shopping together, do you separate and then meet up later, or do you stick together? Time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we do because we we shop differently. So she likes to shop by herself, and I like to shop by asking people a thousand questions, and it irritates her. So she normally goes off on her own, and then I go with a friend. What do you mean you want me to pick out which color you get? Which color do you like better? She's like not a girl. Like I don't get it. Let's talk about Fashion Night Out in general. I mean, this is such a big night, for, especially for the two of you two being you know, these beauty and fashion bloggers. What inspires you most about Fashion's Night Out? I really just feel like everyone comes out and we're all supporting the same thing. You know, everyone loves to shop, everyone loves fashion, but this is like the one night that you should go out, honestly, just to support the stores that you shop at on a regular basis. I think it's just the atmosphere. I mean, the music and it's just, everyone's excited and it's really like Christmas, but for malls. Let's talk about fall trends quickly. What are you guys into in makeup and, and fashion? What are you all about right now? Fashion, I would say the Western inspired trend. We're seeing less boho, more Western. I would also say the color yellow. I'm absolutely adoring. Okay, let's talk about the book and writing the book. How did the book come about? Because it's a novel and it's, it, it is just juicy. That's how I could describe it. How did this sort of idea of a novel come about? And tell me about the process. Well, you know, we had been doing videos for several years and we kind of had been building our brand, Ellen Blair, and when St. Martin's Press approached us wanting us to write a novel, to us it was a dream come true. Like, we're not going to say no to that. So we started, you know, putting the book together, the storyline, and I just think it turned out better than we could have hoped. It, it's kind of loosely based on your lives and sort of coming to L.A. and it's beneath it all. How do you find your way here? How do you find it? Absolutely. I mean, one of the first nights we moved out here to LA, we were invited to a party and we get there and literally all the people that we watch on TV and have done makeup tutorials about for years were just standing right in front of us. So we were kind of thrown into it very quickly and learned they really are just real people and I think that was the first thing that you could really, I feel like I got beneath in LA. I'm intrigued by the chapter where you get arrested, at the, there's a police that arrive at the party. How did you decide on a story and how much fighting was there amongst you in deciding? Was it like, no, I want to go this way, I want to go that way? You know, there wasn't much fighting with the storyline and I think it's because we have very similar taste in what we like and what, kind of where we wanted it to go. So the biggest thing I guess we thought about is who was going to be made out to look like the sister that was in the wrong during any of their fights. You know, because there's always two sides to the story, but there's normally one person that ends up being that, right. Yeah, ends up being Which is a wrong. Not always, actually. Okay. Yeah. Of course we have to talk about the cover of the book because being such fashionistas, I'm sure there was a lot of talk about cover design. I know there's certain, like there's a certain shoe on the cover and a certain, how much time was spent on that? You know, we had a lot of different things that we wanted on the cover. We went through a couple different ideas, but that just felt so us because there's no bed and, okay. well, we film all of our videos. <laughs> we film all of our videos in front of our bed. So. Fabulous rooms, by the way. Yeah. yeah. So we wanted to have that and then just, add in our favorite beauty and fashion items. And when you see fans like here, if you could give girls one piece of quick like beauty fashion advice, do this and don't do this, what would it be? Try not to if you can. I know some people, this is impossible, but try not to wash your hair every day. It'll break your hair. I mean, I am too, especially if you work out or something and you get sweaty, you're like, ew, no, this is gross. And then the do is curl your eyelashes. 
my goodness. Um, my do would be to use moisturizer every night and get enough sleep. That's the thing I suffer with. I have insomnia, so those are my like beauty do's. And my don'ts would be don't skip lipstick because I do that a lot you too. Do. And it's a bad thing because then you look, I, I spend so much time on my entire face and then I'll skip lipstick. I'll just be like done after like when my- <laughs> Over it at yeah, that point. I'm so over it by that point. And it really, it does not complete your look. It, you'd look unfinished. So it defeats the purpose. Hey, we're Ellen Blair Fowler. And you're watching Young Hollywood.